Oh man, the dude put the wheels back on the car, y'all. That's crazy. Dude put the wheels back on the vehicle. If y'all don't remember when I bought that Tahoe, um, dude, uh, I took the wheels off of the man. Now he put the wheels back on. He probably could not get this off. Y'all gotta check that video out, but he probably couldn't get this off. He probably couldn't even get it off, bro. He ain't even put this on right. He ain't even care. But if y'all don't don't know, well, y'all gotta watch the video when I bought that damn Tahoe, man. I helped him take all four of these wheels off, and now they're back on. That's crazy. So he probably was most likely not able to um, get the wheels off. I see this one is bent. I'm not sure if it was bent when he did that, but that's crazy. Damn. Well, that sucks. But anyway. We Hustle Daily. Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Big Play Ray, coming to y'all with another video. We in Cold Park, guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Join the Hustle Nation already if you haven't done so already, man. That was crazy. First up on my list, man, we got the, well, not on my list, but first up that I see, we got the brand new Ford Explorer. This mug is long. Look at the seatbelt. What the hell? Oh, okay, okay. The door is open. Thought the door was coming the front uh that was coming up on the defender but like i would say man make sure y'all like comment subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell let me get out this sun just for a minute Ooh, it's kind of dirty in here like comment subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell man follow me on all social media platforms uh tiktok on the side of the screen instagram on that side of the screen and make sure y'all go to whd academy.com if y'all interested in learning how to buy and sell cars how to properly inspect cars you know how to make money man in this business man how to buy a car without a dealer license the old nine i got plenty of packages on there for y'all make sure y'all check it out um we're in the same um y'all remember I, I, when i let dude um i hope dude do that that's crazy that he put the wheels all back on the car so i know he was out here for a good minute doing that this uh looking kind of dirty I ain't gonna lie for it to be a 2019 looking like this they they didn't take care of this thing at all probably had some kids or something and they just didn't care, man. Okay. What the hell? Okay. See, like, they, they definitely had some kids. Scratch offs. Did we win anything? 45, 38, 5, 41. Mm, I don't see no 45s. I don't see no 38s. I don't see no 5s. And I don't see no 41s. Boop. So, y'all see what's going on, though, man. Very dirty in here. Nasty. Uh, The airbags did deploy. Don't know why the airbags deployed. Oh, we got all that dust coming. I don't know why the airbags deployed, but man, that's crazy that, whew, that dude had to put them fucking wheels back on the car. Boy, it took me, it was hot out here and he paid me. If y'all don't remember the video, he paid me to do it. Give me a hundred bucks to my cash app. You know what I'm saying? And if y'all want to donate, make sure y'all check cash app in the link in the description below. If y'all want to donate something for your boy, I greatly appreciate it. Is that blood? I don't know, but we're going to get up out of here, man. Looking kind of nasty in here, but it is the 2019 Ford Explorer, though. No, I'm sorry, the 2020 Ford Explorer. And where's the damage on that thing? We see the damage there. Well, where's the rest for the airbags that came out like that? See damage there. Well, why did the airbags deploy like that, man? Must have got hit pretty hard there, so I'm going to keep it moving, though. And uh, let's see if we can find our cars today. What's up, Hustle Nation? This video has been sponsored to you by WHDAcademy.com, the online course that's going to teach you everything you need to know about the auction game, all my tips on how to properly inspect cars, and most importantly, how to make money. As you can see, I've been doing this for a while, and as you can also see, I have plenty of testimonials on how I've helped others gain success in this business. So if you're interested in learning, be sure to click the link in the description below. All right, ladies and gentlemen, check out the navigator. So you can check out the navigator right up off the top you see that it got hit in the front pretty bad pretty bad all the this stuff is missing well i bet some a mechanic would love to be right here right now they would be able to fix this thing if it was something going because you can like really get into the needy greedy with the car when it's like this you fix everything you need to fix right here but got hit pretty bad this is a 2019 lincoln navigator but I'm going to show y'all something about the Navigator, man. This thing is like extra long, decent wheels. 
This mug is like extra long though. Like look at how long this truck is. It's damn near look like a bus. Like on a 22 inch wheels. Damn, look at that. But look, look how long this part is from here, the back tail light to here. Like that is a long ass truck to me. Third row, but damn. That's like the, this is like the XL joint, man. Seem like it, this joint is huge, but it's a nice little truck. Big boy, Lincoln Navigator, you know. Let's check that inside out and that interior. Okay. So we got the Navigator, we got the nice color little speakers, speaker covers here and there. Little tweeter, that's how you open a door. Let's check out the interior. Okay. Center console looks like this is going to light up. Okay, big big console. Big console for the back people. We got um third row ports to charge your phone in. Okay, okay, navigator. This mug is huge. Nice little road trip. I think this is gonna be for the cups, right? Yep, cups. Uh Panoramic roof, big boy roof. Ooh. Oh. Oh, it's kind of hard to open the door because it's pinging against the thing. But just to show y'all what it's looking like real quick. Oh. Seats. They got this like double seat on here, double pillow cushion, which is cool. Make you feel real comfortable when you're going out of town. This is definitely an out of town vehicle here. Got your wood, wood looking stuff here. This opens. Damn, they got a lot of freaking room in here, man. But system off. So save flowers. Please turn on and you should start to be. Let me just push it. Okay. And as you can see, that light lit up back there too. Navigator. Yeah, they went crazy on this thing, man. Nothing too much in here. Turn that back off. But nice, 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 nice. Uh, let me show y'all what the screen looked like. I didn't even see what the screen looked like. The steering wheel all in the way. Lights up. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Got somebody named there. Oh, what? Well, all right. Let me see. Okay. The do crank up. I'm not going to keep it cranked up, though, y'all, because... I mean, not going on, but obviously y'all see in the front of the car. But what do y'all think about this thing, man? This thing is like super... Oh, I can't get out this thing. Does it going to shut the door for me? Nah, it ain't that presidential. But this thing is huge, man. Look how big this freaking car is, man. It's huge. God damn. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Man, can I get it in a whole camera? There we go. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the new lav na Navigator, man. But it's like a bus. This is definitely like... I don't even know if this could fit in freaking people's garages. Like, look how big it is. It's huge, man. But y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all think about it. All right. They got this one right here. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Damage. Uh, they got this uh, Mazda Tribute right here. It's not a whole lot of cars to check out today. Oh, and I got to show y'all that um, that Oldsmobile, too. Man, y'all won't believe how much money they got on that Oldsmobile. Bill. I'll show y'all when we get down there, though. But um, y'all probably going to remember. But, um... It was that day I had won the Tahoe, I believe. So I'm gonna show y'all that. 270 on the miles. Looks like, yeah, some dirt in here. Man, after seeing that transmission on that Tahoe, bro, I don't even wanna mess with this. Definitely don't. But I always come check them out at least. I don't know, man. It's just, I'll be checking out all the clear title cars. All the clear title cars, y'all. I feel like I've seen this car before, though. Okay, they want to crank up 270 on the miles though y'all this the transmission probably definitely slipping on this y'all know ford make these uh the ford um explorers i ain't know it had 270 on it like i say man i just go down the list and i really just put everything that got a clear title on my list and i um i go from it like that but with 270 on the miles not being able to drive it i'm straight on this you know what i'm saying definitely on one of these so we got a Honda, I mean, a Toyota Camry to go find. So I'm gonna see y'all when I go, um, whenever that comes across my, let me see. 
okay it should be over here so i'm gonna see y'all when i see this uh camry and then we're gonna go down there to the um that might be it right here hold on oh so yeah i'm gonna see y'all when we get to the camry and i'm gonna show y'all this oldsmobile i was thinking about the oldsmobile remember i didn't crank up the oldsmobile last time because it needed power but once i show y'all how much money they got on here y'all gonna be like man yeah that oldsmobile can stay right there so i'll be right back all right, so we got a 2004 Toyota Corolla. I thought it was a Camry. They got $325 on it right now. I did not notice this, which ain't such a big deal, honestly. Well, damn. I'm sure I'm not lined up. Wait a minute. They said this was a clear title. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. It's a clear title. But yeah, that damage is here on the pictures. I, yeah, I didn't even, I didn't even look for real, for real. But it got a clear title, y'all. Ain't that crazy? They got three hundred and fifty dollars on it right here. Three hundred and twenty-five dollars on it right now. But what are you looking like this, man? There's nothing we can do with that. I don't, I don't plan on fixing that or doing anything like that. So we might as well keep moving. But what it looking like that? They got a clear title. That's crazy. I don't know how that happened, but. If y'all know how that could happen, let me know in the comments below. But we over here. Now I'm about to show y'all this Oldsmobile real quick so y'all can be mind blown. Well, how much? There you go. Damn, look at that. They chopped the top off of it? What the hell? They did that on purpose? Oh, to get them out of the car. Probably had to chop the top off of it, y'all, to get them out of the vehicle. Makes sense. Damn, they got, that's why it's good to have it be in a little big of a car, guys. Just, they have to chop that damn car just to get them out, out of the car. But, here it is right here. Man, they got $15.50 on this car. $15.50. That's two grand out the door. Two grand out the door. Now, why? Now, I do not think that this is going to be able to sell, you know what I'm saying, for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Close to... I I sell it for two grand. Like it's not like it's a. Now I got forty five thousand miles on it, ladies and gentlemen. Forty, see, forty five thousand. But man, and it's in good condition. It got good tires on it. Everything's good on this thing, man. Oldsmobile, Cutlass Supreme, nineteen eighty eight. But I was the last time I seen the car, y'all said I was gonna crank it. But with it being at fifteen fifty and with the fees right now, two grand. There's no use of even cranking it because. Um, it's not gonna do me no good, y'all. So, and it was crazy is y'all they got fifteen grand on it. I mean, fifteen hundred on it right now, fifteen fifty, and they don't even, they haven't even seen the vehicle. It's crazy, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? They haven't even cranked up the vehicle. This vehicle is still dead. So, vehicle is still dead. We can make sure, but I'm pretty sure because I was here. I got this. I had picked this up. I seen this car yep see yeah because it was closed the next day so yeah man fifteen fifty two grand for this thing like i said it's clean and all of that but then it ain't worth no two grand and if it is worth two grand it ain't worth two buying it for two grand and selling it what y'all what's somebody gonna pay for this three you think somebody will pay three for this no you think somebody paid 25 for this no I mean, if y'all would, y'all let me know in the comments below, but I don't see it happening with my knowing, as you know, with my uh, experience, I don't see it happening, not for two grand. So, unfortunately, y'all, that's it for um, in here. There ain't nothing else in here, so we gonna go on and get up out of here, go on somewhere else. I actually gotta go, like I told y'all, that man wanted that Tahoe so bad, man, I actually gotta go finish some paperwork with him because we couldn't finish it that night but he still wanted to take the tahoe so i sold it to him you feel me so about to head over there that way it was a system glitch you know what i'm saying is what my vendor told me so i'm about to go ahead that way i just want to stop out here real quick see if i can see uh if any of these cars were good but they're not i had seen that they wanted fifteen hundred dollars for this but they was the bid was at fifteen hundred dollars already before i even when i got here when I looked, I got here already and seen, but I would have never even came out here if I 
would have seen that they was at 1550 because I was coming back to crank that car up because like I told y'all in the last video, when I bought the Tahoe, I wasn't able to crank it up because I didn't have the jump box, but the auction was a couple more days, but I'm glad I didn't go back out to the car and go all the way back up here and try to get the jump box because I would have just been wasting my time, obviously. But y'all let me know what y'all think about that price. Would y'all pay two grand for it out the door as it sits right now? 45,000 miles, 1988 Oldsmobile Cutlass, me. Mm -mm. I ain't think nobody would want that car. I ain't think nobody would want that car. Y'all know I like buying stuff like that. I ain't think nobody would want it, but obviously they want it. So appreciate y'all tuning in, tuning in, man. Shout out to the whole Hustle Nation. Thank y'all. Thank you, Copart. Appreciate you. It's your boy Ray. Big play, Ray. Didn't find nothing today, but it's all good. See y'all in the next video. I'm out. Peace.